Okay, want to learn how to get this kind of pressure coming out of your rain catchment system as opposed to this. Pipe size matters. Not just pipe size, but elevation. Um, my tanks aren't completely full. I was hoping to have closer to five pounds of pressure, but they might get up there once they're completely full. I just fill them up with the hose just to be able to test the system. Um, didn't feel the need to go all the way up, but you'll see I've got two inch pipe at the end. I've got that tied into the three inch here with my first riser coming out of the three inch. So let's go back over this way. Basically both of these are half inch, which equals one inch of water. And I've got my tanks elevated up to create static pressure. Um, let's just go through the whole, the whole get up here. Two 250 gallon tanks. Uh, just about 200 gallons in each I've got two two-inch pipes starting off tying into a four-inch pipe two two-inch pipes do not equal a four-inch pipe in volume but by necking it down to three inch down there I'm good I just created an extra got about 30 foot of four-inch pipe including the riser so that's just about 20 gallons of water. Um, so with everything all together, I've got an, about a, an additional 30 gallons of water there. Um, but the elevation, so if you, can, if you happen to live on a hill, uh, you can use that to your advantage or build a platform. Um, so, Going four inch, neck down to three inch, neck down to two inch. And in order to make sure that my last irrigation head, this is all gonna be garden over here. It doesn't have worse pressure than in the beginning. Basically, that's why I have two risers is I'm gonna create a loop. I'm gonna tie that in come down there basically create a U um, and then I'm gonna come off with drip line in between everything so we should have equal amounts of pressure all the way down um, another crazy thing because of my elevation worse come the worse if we ever had a situation where we didn't have water I could tie in off of that riser there, run a garden hose over there, shut off the supply to the street, and I could feed into my house. Um, see, I've got good enough pressure. It's not going to be like city water pressure, but it'll be good enough that we don't have to co keep coming in and out. Um, basically, all I have to do is a double female over on the hose bib on the outside of the window there, and I can tie everything in. Um, that's another possibility I um, haven't really ever seen anyone talk about uh, so that and I got the uh, first first flush made my own uh, the better ones I was looking at were about 150 bucks and you still had to buy the pipe and the fittings uh, except for what they give you so I originally had it set up I'll put the video to that at the end uh, what I did um, Originally had it set up with this three inch pipe with a hole in the bottom, but then I realized I'd never be able to clean it So I had this other stuff laying around so I Just went ahead and put that union on there. I cut a slit in the end of that cap uh, To allow some water to come out and I got a foam ball in there. So that rises up to the choke point and Shuts off the flow of water 
uh, if you're not shutting off the flow of water, you're still going to mix. Um, you know, water's going to come down, some's going to come back up. For the most cases, it should just go that way. But you're still going to get some, some mixing involved. That's why you want to put that ball in there. Gets up there, shuts it off, and it will eventually perk down. And your water will have to come down and lift that ball back up. But through the whole process, uh, you're at least getting all that water that's all the roof with shit and chemtrail dust and whatever else is in there. Uh, you're flushing it down right right into the ground. Um, so there's that. Go over to here. Let's see uh, Chicken World over here. That's their tank. That's I got that set up just to be able to water them. Um, set this up for the dogs outside, but they don't seem to like to drink out of it. We've got these automatic float valves, uh, like toilet floats, so uh, they work okay. I'll put a link to those in the description. Uh, they're cheap. I got four of them, I think, for 15 bucks on Amazon, but that's my tie in there. I've got this set up so I can fill that little tank. Might be able to hear the water flowing. Um, the cap is vented. I got a couple holes in the cap uh, so that it will it will raise up and and it will drain down on its own. That's my uh, that's my system. As far as what I've seen, I've watched a bunch of these videos. I've never seen anyone do this. I might have missed a one or two that might have done something like this. But yeah, if you actually want to get a water pressure better than I mean, you're not, yeah, that's, that's almost, almost like coming out of the hose in your house. So, hey, if you got any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'm going to get this all buried up. And, uh, you know, I may do some improvements later on. And uh, we'll see. Thanks. To, to make my own first flush thing, I've seen these little kits that you can buy. Uh, I'm sure this is going to be a part one, basically just trying to set up to where I can feed the tanks today. Um, but I've got that plumbing Y there, and I've got a 3 by 2 inch reducer. I'm going to be putting a small piece of 2 inch pipe in between the two reducers with this coupling here. Drilled a small hole in this cap that is going to go on the bottom of my 3 inch pipe. And once the water fills up, it'll push that ball into there. And then the rest of the water will come up and out of there. So all the crap that's on the roof is going to go down into this three inch pipe. And yeah, I'm going to glue both sides of the pipe, but being that this is just a drain pipe, I'm not super worried about it being the absolute best. And I'm using a heavy duty glue. So for all the heroes out there, oh, you should prime it and do all this and that. This is just drainage. I'm not, I'm not going crazy on it.
cap on, flip this baby over. Don't forget to put the ball in. Okay, got the pipe filling up with the ball in there. It's gonna take a minute, we got horrible water pressure, but sounds like it's getting full. There it is, that's how it works. 